Okay, everyone, it's time to play some Castlevania. Uh, time to uh, uh, take on the role of Simon Belmont uh, on his way to uh, defeat Dracula. It's really uh, that simple of a plot for this first game. Your uh, main weapon here is uh, your whip. Uh, you do get two upgrades for it. Uh, uh, you find them right off the bat, right outside the uh, castle walls here. You also have secondary weapons which you can use, such as uh, this dagger. There are uh, hidden treasures uh, around the levels. Uh, this particular one you get, it's kind of tricky. Uh, you have to jump over the doorway uh, of the castle and then jump back over again to get the money back. Uh, it's tricky because uh, under normal circumstances, when you just walk up to the door, you're kind of drawn into it automatically. So you've really got to time those jumps just perfect uh, in order to get that. Uh, the secondary weapons uh, are powered by uh, hearts, which I'm getting out of the candlesticks here. Uh, you would think that hearts would uh, have something to do with your life or your health, but uh, they don't. In this case, they're, uh, well, they're kind of uh, ammunition uh, for the secondary weapons. There is uh, another hidden money bag right here, uh, uh, the last block of that platform. Uh, the zombies here are pretty relentless. Uh, there's really no end to them, they just keep coming out, but one whip, uh, it takes them down. This game, uh, like most uh, uh, NES games of the time, is, is pretty brutal. It doesn't seem like it when you're playing this first level, but uh, what the game really excels at is uh, leading you into a false sense of security. Basically, uh, it makes you think that it's not going to be that difficult, and then it really is. Uh, with each progressing level, uh, they really ramp up the difficulty until by the end you're just, uh, uh, it's very frustrating until you really uh, get the patterns down. Down in this uh, kind of dungeon-y kind of area, uh, we got fishmen to deal with. Uh, take them out or get away from them, whatever you gotta do, because ooh, if, uh, if they hit you, uh, you will get knocked back and probably fall into the water. Uh, getting hit in this game, uh, when you do, you get knocked back. You get knocked backwards pretty good. So if you're near the uh, the edge of a platform or a ledge, and uh, and you get hit, you're going to get knocked back, and you're going to get knocked off, and uh, and then therefore die. So keep that in mind to uh, try not to linger too long around the edges of platforms. Gravity and uh, and falling, are, you're going to find are your biggest enemies in this game, more more than any zombie or bat, that's for sure. Uh, there's this potion here. It makes you invincible for like five seconds or so. I never found much use for it. It really doesn't help you too much. I'm not big on using the secondary weapons really either, except for uh, against the bosses at the end of the level. Uh, this axe right here is going to be the uh, weapon of choice against uh, the giant bat. That uh, Roman numeral 2 is a double shot multiplier, which allows you to throw uh, two axes or two secondary weapons at the same time. Uh, the axes take out this bat really easily, no problems. And uh, if I seems like I was talking really fast, well, that's because there's not much time, because we're done with the level already. Uh, you can beat this game in about 20 minutes, really. So the levels are really short, and uh, probably not going to have too much time to talk about this game as we play through it. But uh, first level, piece of cake, no problem. Um, it gets harder there, folks, and the shit's really going to hit the fan soon. So uh, we'll talk about that more in level 2. See ya.